Now let's talk about what is a pip. In Forex, we often say we made X amount of pips off a trade or lost X amount of trade in a specific trade. So a pip, also known as percent in point or price interest point, is the smallest unit of measurement used to express the change in the value of a currency pair in Forex trading. In most currency pairs, a pip represents the fourth decimal place in the exchange rate. For example, in this diagram, you see that on the fourth decimal place, we have an increase of three to four on the fourth decimal place. That is increase of one pip movement. However, there are some currency pairs such as the Japanese yen, where a pip represents the second decimal place in the exchange rate. For example, we see 113.82 move to 113.83. And on the second decimal place, you see an increase in one pip from two to three. Pips are important in Forex trading because they are used to calculate the profit or loss of a trade. The value of a pip depends on the currency pair being traded, the size of the pip, and the exchange rate of the currency pair. Now here's another diagram to show you how to count pips. In this example, we have eight sitting on the fourth decimal place position and that is a one pip position. And how we refer to this is eight pips. And at the third decimal place, we have six, and that goes up by 10. So in this case, we say 60 pips. The value of a pip varies based on the currency pairs that you're trading, and it depends on which currency is in the base currency and which is the counter currency. For example, if USD is on the right side, one pip value is $1 per 10,000 traded. And here we have a formula. Size of a pip times base currency equals pip value. So if we put one pip times 10,000 euros, we have one USD. So if we take this further, let's look at this example over here. We buy 10,000 USD against US dollar, so euro USD at 1.10550 and you earn $1 for every pip. 10 pip increase to 1.0650, you will make 